a couple months ago i made this video about how to practice lead code and all that other stuff guys and then i realized okay yeah you shouldn't be doing so many easy problems on lead code because then otherwise you're not going to progress at all like if i just go on lead code and do a bunch of easy problems i'm not going to progress at all i'm not going to learn anything new about algorithms and i'm just going to be here stuck in with the same 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 understanding of how how algorithms work like if i do a bunch of these easy problems and wow they added, they added a bunch of new easy problems but if I do a bunch of easy problems and then you realize, oh, what the hell am I doing? I just only solved 100 easy problems, 125 easy problems, and I'm not actually improving myself in my type of 120, uh, 106 easy problems, and I, I'm not actually improving anything on lead code. And then now when I when I check on my code forces thing, I just realize, oh, wow, you, you guys could check on your code forces, by the way, on code drills. But I just checked on, wow, I solved 245, and I'm still in the same ranking of really shitty 770 and that this 770 means that i barely could solve the first question on the first question of uh code forces that means that i haven't i, I don't solve it that much so so here's the thing that i have to tell you guys that when you're practicing these problems you can't just be like like here here's okay so let's say uh, let's say you go on code for drills right and you type in your handle and then you, you find the problems that you have trouble with it analyzes the problems you have trouble with and you do this and you go on the weak topics and you start doing these problems the thing is that if you do too many easy problems you're not actually going to do anything you're not going to improve yourself you're not going to do anything new and, and stuff like that so then what do you do you go on the medium problems and you try to solve the medium problems and then what you realize is that over time over time let's let's say let's say i go here and i'm going to type in my 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 handle on code forces which is code code drills I, no not code drills code forces visualizer yeah you could type this up all right type in your handle here and then now you realize oh damn i only solved i've been solving 69 800 level problems and then i only solved 41 1000 level problems and I'm trying to increase my ranking to at least green, right? I'm trying to increase my ranking to at least back to pupil, 1,383. And in order to do that, I actually have to start solving, be able to solve these 1,300 problems very quickly. So if, I, if I'm able to solve 69 problems, of uh, 800 level problems super duper quickly, and that means that I solve 148 problems, I have to be able to solve these type of problems at least c or d these these type of problems i have to solve a b c fast and then i have to solve c so if i solve a b c fast and solve c then i'll be able to increase my ranking and be able to do whatever the hell i want and then get back to get back to people which i'm so desperately trying to increase my ranking to because look at how abysmal my my whole my whole thingy is like right here so th that's the thing guys is that you can't just solve problems that are super duper easy the, for the thing is that when you're on code forces when you're trying to solve problems what happens is, is that when you go on these problems and you start trying to solve them and then you can't figure them out what do you do what what do most people do well what most people do is they go on the tutorial they go down here hit the tutorial button and then what they do is they look at the the the, the code and then they just copy and paste the code and not actually learn anything at all so like if i just did here and then i did okay tiling challenge i read here oh, okay that, that's what it is i don't just copy and paste and then Bada bing, bada boom, and I just get AC'd. Okay, like the, the, you don't learn anything at that point. You're not actually learning anything. You're not learning any new algorithms at that point, right? You hear the, po the point here is to try to basically be increase your level of problem solving. So what what I propose you guys to do is actually stop and don't don't try to solve up uh, don't try to solve problems like this way. Okay, don't go on code drills and start solving these problems. I mean, you should. It's a good idea to so solve medium problems, right? don't solve easy problems solve medium problems but what you really should be doing is actually going into contests and participating in every single contest and trying to upsolve the ones that you couldn't solve right so if i go back to and i can't participate in any virtual for some reason i don't know why why that that's the case but let's say i go to gym i'm like oh damn all these 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 problems uh not not gym it's the other one i don't know i don't know why i can't go to virtual participation i go here whatever okay so like let's say i go here and i do a virtual participation right here right now and then like now i realize okay now i have to solve this in two hours and if i can't solve any of the problems well then i'll once i look at the editorial do not copy the code what you should be doing is that you read the editorial you try to implement yourself and you submit it as many times as possible if you can't submit it yourself something's wrong 
right? Like you, if you if you if you're copying code, that's not the right way to do it. Do not, I repeat, do not copy and paste code on code forces, on lead code, any of that stuff. All right, you're not gonna learn anything. If you just copy and paste, you're not actually learning anything. And if you just memorize the code, you're not learning anything either. Cause like, like why why would you? Right. So that that's that's what I just wanted to tell you guys. Like this is just like a huge huge that thing that where it's like oh, okay. It's just like, what's the point? What's the point of copying and pasting the code? I want to tell you guys how to actually solve these problems. So that's the reason why I made this video. It's, it's, it's I don't know, I'm just rambling right now. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. Just please, please don't just like copy and paste code. Like that doesn't help you at all. So yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later, please. Peace.